Today we're going to learn how to install RStudio. Go ahead and open up your favorite web browser and type in RStudio. This will take you to their homepage. Click on it and locate the download RStudio button. Click it again and this will take you to the download page. You need to choose your version. Here we're going to do the RStudio desktop open source license. Click on download and then select the correct supported platform installer for your system. If you're a PC user, do the Windows. I am a Mac user, so I'm going to click on the Mac OS option. I'm going to wait for that to download. When it's ready, I'm going to locate it in my downloaded items file. Double click the .gmg, let it unpack, and then drag and drop the RStudio icon into my applications. So we're going to go to Applications and scroll down to find our studio and double click on it. Something interesting is going to happen here that you might not expect. I trust this software, so I go ahead and click Open. Uh-oh. My computer is not able to locate the R binaries. Something you should know about our studio is that it requires that you have R the standalone program installed on your machine. So we're going to go ahead and install R. Just type in R, the letter R, <laughs> and the first thing that's going to come up is what you want. Click on it, select the download R link, and then we need to find our closest place, our closest network to download the software. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select UCLA because that's nearby, but it really doesn't matter which option you choose here. And then again, I'm going to select the option for my machine, the Mac OS, and I'm going to install the most recent version of R. In this case, it's version 3.6.1. Just going to select that. and my machine will start downloading it. These aren't huge files, so it shouldn't take a whole lot of time, nor should it take up much space on your desktop. Then I'm just gonna follow the prompts. Again, I trust this software, so I'm going to agree to the terms, and I'm going to install everything. After the installation is successful, I move the installer to my trash because we no longer need it now that we actually have the program itself. Now we're going to try to open our studio again. We're not going to worry about downloading this extra software right now. And it works. The reason why we're using our studio rather than R is because it has more of a soft and gentle approach to learning R. It's more of a user interface, and I think you're going to get a lot more out of it um, rather than just throwing you straight into a command line, which is the way that R, the original program, operates. We'll go over this in class next week if you have any questions or concerns, or for that matter, any trouble installing either R or RStudio. Thank you.